In this video, we will be going over component properties. So let's place a channel via the mouse tool. Click here, add it here, and then here. Now we can access the properties of the component by either double clicking on the component or we can right click on the component and then select the properties option to bring up the the components properties. Now you'll notice here by right clicking we also have access to some properties via this right menu right click menu rather. So what we will find is generally these top four options edit format visibility template and these three are found on most of the components and the ones in between are specific to the component selected. So in this case, let me see if I can bring this up higher. So let's go through some of these. So edit, you basically have undo to do the most previous action. Uh, redo if you have more than one action. Of course, we have cut, copy, paste, and delete if you want to do that specifically to the component. Then we have format. Uh, in this case, we have move to front and move to back. And this basically controls the order of the components if you have overlapping components. Visibility. So right now I'm on a daily chart and if I select uh, less than one day, the component is now hidden because it will only be available on any time frame less than the one day. So if I pick one hour, you'll see the channel here. So let's go back to the daily. Bring this back. So I undid the last action to bring the channel back up by resetting its visibility. And now, uh, again, if we right click, let's go through some of these other options. Template, the specific component settings the way right now, they can be set as a template. Now for the channel, we haven't really changed anything. Um, but if we went uh, in here, maybe changed the format, the visibility, we can then save that as a template so that we can then recall those specific channel settings. Now you can have more than one template if you have more than one set of specific settings that you want to save for the component. So let's go back, right click. And now we get into the specifics of this component. Uh, we have create alert, which is not uh, available right now at the moment. We have show info, which if I click off and deselect the component, you'll see, you'll see these price levels here, this information. And if I unselect that, now you don't see them. Um, we also have show fill. You can have a fill there. You can take that off for now. And then we have some other options like show middle line. We can uh, mirror the channel. Let's bring that back. We can also uh, extend the lines. We can extend left, extend left and right. We can change them to horizontal lines. As we can see here, based on the bottom node here. Put that back. Let's go back here. Now we have some racial settings here. From here we can select, for instance, if I wanted the Fibonacci and I wanted them as retracements here, I can save these as a default. I can apply them. And now you'll see the ratios being applied. So let's just take that off. Now, of course, here we can go and define our own ratios, select the ones that you want, or type them in, and then you can save them as a preset to add to your list. Uh, on the display here, we also have some other options. Now, I won't go through all of them here, um, but this is just to show you the general idea that you do have some properties available based on the component. Okay, so let's go back. Show lines, and this particular component, we have the option of showing multiple lines. So if I wanted six lines, I can have six lines. So let's undo that. 
And now we have uh, here, again, these three are typically available with all components. You can lock the component. That way you can't mistakenly move it or delete it. So let's just uh, undo that. Uh, hide component, we, we went through that. Um, we can do that. Let me bring it back. And then the properties box here, again, is the same as if we were to double click on the component. And we have some other options here, formatting options. For instance, we can change uh, the line colors. We can change the thickness. We can change the type. If we wanted to add um, fill color, some other options here as well. Visibility, we went through already. Um, now there's also an option here that says visible on current bar size only. If I select that and make that as a default, then uh, instead of it, the component being visible on every single time frame, it will only be a, a visible on the time frame in which it's created. Okay, racials we went through there. And we're back to general here. So let's click cancel there. Oh, one more thing that I should have showed you, sorry. Um, here again is template. You can save any of these changes as a template and you can have uh, as many templates as you want. Okay, and then from here from defaults, you can, uh, once you set it up the way you like, you can actually make that a default by clicking on save defaults. Okay, so that are that is the options for component properties. Uh, again, just to recap, you can either double click to bring up the properties box or you can right click and then select properties. So that's it for this video and we'll see you in the next.